hello and welcome to a very special episode on my channel where I talk about the build that allows me to achieve anything from 400 to 4000 damage and that's actual numbers I'm seeing on the screen if this is helpful if you find this informative or you want it to you know, be spread around the community please do consider putting a like on it and subscribing this helps the algorithm know that you like the the video and it's worth recommending to other Fallout fans. Okay, I will talk you through the um, setup and the figures and the cards and the equipment and everything else that I used to achieve those incredible numbers. So first of all, let's look at the perk cards. Now I'm using an unarmed build, so it works with things like mole miner gauntlets, death claw gauntlets, and it power fists. You want blooded versions of them. For this build to be the most effective but if you can get blooded with some extra effects that increase the damage that's all the better i've got traveling pharmacy just for a, a little um <laughs> weight issues iron fist which at level three which gives you up to 20 percent more damage it's i think it is let's just pick it yeah your punching attacks now do plus 20 percent damage and you got I've got some weight things because I've got a mixed build here as well and I've also got blocker to reduce damage 45% less damage from opponents many attacks incisor so you slice through the target and get the you know slice through the armor the next card we have is martial artist which increases the, decreases the weight of the weapons and also makes you be able to swing 30% faster now the main things for causing damage obviously your iron fist be able to cut through the the armor glow sight here which is 60 percent more damage to my enemies um solar powered and radical solar powered gives you more um, plus three strength and endurance between the hours 6 and a.m and 6 p.m so during the day i've got increased strength and increased uh resistance or health and radical which is essential greatly rads uh, the greater your strength max plus five strength then we've got party boy the effects of pre-war alcohol are tripled and inspirational for when you're in a party but when i'm not in a party i use lone wanderer not at maximum but at three because my charisma is at six and i've got things like first aid so stim packs restore 45 percent more lost health that's just so you can get in there quickly you can use diluted ones it's slightly easier makeshift warrior so your weapons broke 50 percent slower and you can craft anything an armor as well at level three action boy to regenerate your hit point your action points faster as this build relies on jumping around a lot white knight so your arm breaks slower bloody mess for more damage 15 percent bonus damage and uh class freak to keep your mutations locked in and not the negative effects right down sorry and the starch genes keeps your mutations locked in so that's the build basically but uh that's just the perk cards alone so if we go into equipment I can show yeah no not not there back into equipment so what I'm actually using is obviously the uh, I'm stopping monster but I've got plenty of other options there yeah you can see I'm carrying lots of explosives and uh, shotguns etc just as secondary weapons uh, quests and things but I'm using a combat comedian armor right arm but apparently a lot of my friends don't see the community effect they can see me still clearly so there's obviously some kind of bug with the community effect at the moment which is great um i'm using a shielded brotherhood officer suit which gives me 13 damage resistance nine energy resistance five rad resistance backpack of course and then of course we've got unyielding if you can get unyielding plus extra effects uh to cater to your taste to your taste then that's fine pick those but uh i've only got a level one here level 45 sorry one star getting up to plus three all, all stats except endurance when low health which is essential and we've got the unyielding forest scout armor right leg now that's really good because it's got plus one strength and it's got a plus three to all stats when low so that's what we're using and you're running about 25 percent health as you can see there if anything lower than that 20 percent health you tend to die a heck of a lot more so this one's got plus one intelligence and the ability to breathe underwater not exactly essential this one's plus one agility food drinking chems weights are reduced that's really helpful for me and uh yeah wrap around goggles i'm currently got a carry weight of 425 
but um, and the weapon output damage output is currently 1118 but we can increase that and we can increase that really swiftly and really quickly really easily obviously using party boy you get double the effects so whiskey yeah you get strength plus six it's I think it's triple the effects or something I don't know let me have a look go back and look in what what party boy does but it's essential yeah the effects of pre-work roll are tripled yeah so six extra damage and my currently my strength is running at uh, yeah 34 so another six on top you'd be running 40 damage um, that's just with that if I can if you can get chems on top I think chems now cancel out alcohol they cancel out each other which is really stupid um, but I think yeah so if I had been using Excel plus whiskey well there's one way to test it really isn't there that would be plus two to all special stats for two minutes so let's do that right we're coming out 35 hmm, that's not plus two on 34 but okay 41 yeah now let's look 1315 damage but that's just damage there it doesn't actually mean that's the, the the damage but the reason why I don't use things like dodgy or serendipity serendipity I found too distracting because it comes up and like flashing all the time when you're dodging damage you're better off just using um well you're better off doing this and the reason why I don't use dodgy is because it consumes action points and I, half the time I was going to use the marsupial jump which consumes AP and it wasn't working these you know I had nothing there which is annoying so yeah I changed it to that that <laughs> build and sort of perfected it and I've been working with it for ages I die a lot less than most people do with bloody builds and it's it's pretty good to use in PvP and in PvE phenomenal as you could probably see from the, the little intro I did but yeah, that's that's the build, unyielding, and if you can get plus one strength on all your unyielding and you can get another piece of unyielding on the other arm, then you're laughing. You're gonna be hitting and you could be getting up to forty five damage. You can use nuke shine as well. But the problem with using nuke shine is which is how I achieved two thousand. I think I got I've got a screenshot, I'll try and remember to put it up on the screen or I'm gonna put it up at the end where it says 2,000 damage, over 2,000 damage I was achieving with a stop monster but I took um, Nuka Shine to achieve this you can use chems or you can use Nerd Rage and reduce your health to like 20 below 20% but when you do that reduce it to below 20% you are even more susceptible to dying and you also when taking on multiple enemies it's a real real problem um, you tend to die very easily so I've stuck to this build and I found through testing talking to people the great thing about this is I can reduce the amount of rads I'm still doing 400 damage so if I'm in low level areas you can reduce it you can you know or if you're taking on multiple enemies you can reduce it um, the enemies will take a couple of hits like mole miners and that rather than one although there's nothing more satisfying than running up and hitting a death claw in the face for damage but as I'm talking about all this and you're not actually seeing anything I'm gonna to go to Death Claw Island now and I'll show you live you know well live as it can be in the recording but I'll do it on here without um, with yeah I'll do it in a demonstration basically of course I did forget to talk about mutations so we'll move right on to the demonstration once I've talked you through those so the mutations I'm actually running are adrenal reaction which gives me more damage at low hit points which is very important literally charged that occasionally goes off to you shock many attackers that's kind of helpful when enemies surrounded grounded which gives you energy gun damage resistance of plus 100 plus 100 sorry and the and energy gun damage is minus 12 percent healing factor your chems do less but you get health regen when which certainly helps when i'm not in battle marsupial which gives additional carry weight and jump height but reduces health and um, scaly skin which gives an increased energy resist and damage resist as well which helps slightly less um, scaly slightly less AP a reload speed of, for speed demon move speed uh, increases hunger and thirst though 
and twisted muscles which gives us plus 25 percent many damage and a chance to cripple so yeah they're all really really useful for this build and now we shall move on with yeah so yeah that's kind of the ones i want to run with you probably don't need any more than those i would say they're the they're the ones i'm running with i mean what that's eight so that's kind of pushing it with but there probably might be if there are any more that people think may help the build i mean there is plague walker as well which when if you're diseased you can cause a, a plague all around you and the longer you've had the disease the worse it becomes so you can kind of damage and poison enemies around you so that might be useful as well it stops things crowding you because that's when you have real issues is when things crowd you too much you want to be able to move in strike them move out strike um, and to the next target and strike them anyway we shall now move on with the demonstration right here we are at deathclaw island now i don't have any more whiskey which i tend to use so we'll just use something like psycho buff or fury if i've got that on me and something like psycho buff yeah plus three strength why not so that just it does rely heavily on chems and alcohol but uh, level 21 but 1101 damage straight away sell those later on but yeah that's the beauty of it it's just so easily takes things down I didn't realize those death claws were really low level but yeah that was uh, 1200 on screen <laughs> damage but you can achieve a lot more than that with by fill taking more rads obviously look my rads are well I've got a good considerable amount of health there but that means I can take more hits take more things on but as you saw from the beginning you can kill sheep squash in uh, three hits legendary ones take a little a few more hits because they tend to regenerate their health but I, I hope you found this informative you found it useful and perhaps we'll see some of you using this build out there let me know it works well in PvP I stream regularly with it so I mean Feel free to pop in on the streams if you have any questions about it. Ask me, you can ask me live and I can uh, try and talk you through it and what I do and how I achieve the results that I achieve. But I've been McQueen. This is uh, Dragonborn McQueen channel. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.